Now, two people are in custody after a wild police chase comes to an end in Broward County. This was the scene earlier today. Chopper 4 capturing several police cars chasing the suspects all during the morning rush hour on 595. We're now learning one officer was injured, and investigators tell us he was taken to the hospital after one of the suspects behind the wheel ran him over. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Pembroke Pines with more on how this wild chase began. Ted? Yeah, Elliot, all that began here at the Century Village Retirement Community in Pembroke Pines. We understand the police were here for an overdose call. Now, right back there, you can see that that's where uh, police still have their crime scene set up. Uh, that is the spot where it appears that officer had a run-in with a man. That officer was dragged, and it seems that he landed in that general area there. From there, the person who was driving took off, and the cross-county chase began. Police going after a driver on I-75 and 595 just as the morning rush was coming to an end. The man behind the wheel weaves through traffic, making his way onto the shoulder with a parade of officers behind him. He's wanted for an incident at Century Village in Pembroke Pines, where a Pines police officer was dragged by a car. One of our officers responded to a call for service this morning within the Century Village community. And while there, I don't know exactly what happened, but the officer was dragged by a vehicle that was being driven by an individual and occupied by a second person. The pursuit came to a crawling end with the suspect's car barely moving on 595 just after 441 with guns drawn. Officers dragged the driver from the car and placed him under arrest. Seconds later, a second person was removed from the car and also taken into custody. The officer was taken away by ambulance. Our officer was transported to Memorial Regional Hospital. At this time, I've been advised that he does not have any life-threatening injuries, uh, but we're still waiting to receive additional information. Back at Century Village, police have a scene set up on the spot where that officer was dragged. It appears that parts of his uniform and gear are left behind. For people who live here, it's difficult to get around. They're directing everybody down on one path. So they have the, you can't, can't drive all the way through. Police and tape across the road, and as far as you can see, blue lights all the way up north. And to get in, you have to go up to the north entrance. And here's where things stand right now. That officer was taken to Memorial Regional Hospital in Hollywood. We understand he has non-life-threatening injuries, as the officer said. Uh, we do not know what the specific injuries are, just that they are not life-threatening, apparently. Uh, as for the suspects, two people have been taken into custody. Live in Pembroke Pines, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Hope that officer improves quickly. Uh